God will keep fighting for his own, regardless of anything that happens. Hmm. My people, the matter is indeed getting worse. Even if at least Miedochi is now finding some peace, at last after everything, after the court had now granted the divorce and also given her the right to stay in the house, even if your Edochi has not packed his things completely out of May Edochi's house in Lagos, that is the one in Aja. Yes, guys, the house now belongs to May totally. That is why your Edochi is seen with Jude Austin in Enugu and not in Lagos. Yes, yeah, so that one is a big congratulations, and most of May Edochi's fans know about it. It. But now, what is now raising cause of alarm right now is the current case that is happening with May. It is not a small thing, you know. guy. This is the second time this particular occurrence has been happening again. Like it is now becoming overwhelming, and May Edoche really needs to tighten her security because if not, this thing will keep repeating itself, and nobody is going to have. Or nobody is going to make account for it. But thank God, luckily, the um, bandits or the people that were involved in this particular act were caught. So guys, I'll be dropping you the full gist and the full details. But before then, let me welcome you all back to my channel at Gist Central. We will give you all the latest gist and updates about the entertainment space. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I better make you subscribe and like our like button, comment and also share to all your social media handles. So my people, not be smart, you know. Remember the, the time when May Edochi had lost her son Kambali Chuku. Yes, it was also reported that her shop was vandalized worth millions of goods. But thank God she recovered most of the things as the culprits that were involved in this act were caught. Now, this second time it is now happening. Like my people, this is now becoming a cause of alarm. Because as of the first time, many people were of the opinion that Judy Austin and Yole Doche had a hand in it because that was the time me Edoche was fighting over the house and Yol Edoche wanted to use that as a means of revenge to me Edoche. But guys, after that particular incident, Mia Doche had decided that she needed to put more security around her shop area. Like my people, one thing I admire beautiful Kuime is the fact that even if Yole Doche proclaimed himself to be a rich actor, a successful one, a talented one, she never still looked um, down at herself. She continued doing her business. Yes, my people, Mia Edoche is a silent business mongo. Even if she doesn't come out on social media, that to publicize it or start saying no if you look deep down you could you you know that me doche has a lot of enterprises ranging from supermarkets boutiques where they sell um homewares different things electronics that is me doche for you she is doing so well for herself and that is the reason why regardless of the fact that your doche had left her and no longer his wife she can still stand for herself because she is no longer only doing those things but she also has some other influencer jobs that she is doing on social media space so guys according to report it was reported that some thieves were caught some thieves were caught around me at Doche shop when they were trying to vandalize the place yes it was reported that these thieves it was two persons who two males who were caught trying to vandalize the shop they were caught when they when they already entered inside the shop and they were trying to take out some goods out of me at the shop so it was the people like the youth around there that caught the people that vandalized me at Doche's shop. It was so, so shocking because these are two able-bodied men. So why were they doing what they were doing? Like vandalizing main, main shop. And for the fact that my people, this one is so pinpointed because every other shop was out there. Like on the road of where me at Doche's shop is. But... So my people, the question is why was it me Edoche's shop that was attacked for the second time in the same place where by other shops are um, located? My people, this is a...
question that I keep asking myself. Now, we might say the first one could be out of just mere coincidence, mere, mere um, accident, or they just came in to vandalize the shop based on the size of the shop. But the fact that this is the second time Mayor Edoche's shop is vandalized. Hmm. My people, traces are being found. Like, there are so many suspicions going on now because right now, Yon Edoche is trying to take his revenge on his wife me because me edoche taking that house in aja is still a big shock to your edoche and he has not recovered from it and your edoche is going to go to every extent and every length to make sure that he gets that house in aja lagos because your edoche if you look at the size of that house that house is what most like it is it is bigger it is better than the one he stays with in Enugu. So guys, this one is just so realistic. Yole Doche, it just seems as though he is coming down from his high mountains down to a lower level. And we all know Yole Doche is a prideful man. He's a man that loves himself. In fact, we can even ascribe him as a narcissist. So you can see that Yole Doche is not happy at all. For me, Edoche taking over the house in um, Aja. And for the fact that she now got herself a new mansion in Banana Island. Hey, hey. my people, that one was a really big shocker. So, Yon Edoche is right now trying every means and every possible way on taking me Edoche to court over, the, um, over that house. That is the ownership of the house. Because when the divorce papers were um, um, signed, Yon Edoche did not want to sign it at first because he knew that that house was going to um Mia Doche. That is the court he was going to grant her. But thank God, because of the strong lawyers of Mia Doche, after the bigamy case, everything that was what um, pushed Yole Doche to sign those divorce papers. If not, we would have still been battling the issue of divorce up to this point. But thank God for what intervened and Yole Doche was able to sign those divorce papers. But now it is not the end. Yole Doche would do anything within his powers to make sure that he gets back that house in Lagos Aja. One thing I ask myself is that Yole Doche is not even um, looking at his children or his family or what he has lost. Instead, he is looking for those material things like the house, the money, the properties that he has lost after he divorced Mie Doche. And he is going to go to every extent. First of all, he wants to cripple Mie Doche's feelings. Like he wants to make her feel depressed over by, um, by sending thieves to vandalize her shop. What millions of naira after she had recovered from the first one? <laughs> My people, this one is getting interesting because Yul Edoche is now rejecting or is now saying that he does not have a hand in it after they give the um thief better pan a beating for on top there. <laughs> he had no reason but to start confessing. Oh. My people, he was sent, according to him, he was sent, but he does not really know the person who sent him to vandalize the shop. But all he knows is that he, he, he just get paid after he had vandalized the shop and the person does not require or just ask anything like maybe the good that he stole instead the person will just after giving him finish um the news that he has done the job the person will still send him his money so the team felt like it was a win-win for him he is vandalizing a shop and still yet he is being paid for stealing hmm. my people that's the juicy offer but thank god say they don't really catch him they don't catch the person where they really do the thing right now you know that we know that may is now serious and she has also decided to tighten her security in every corner of herself, thereby putting CCTV cameras around her shops, around her house, even the new one in Banana Island. Um, in Banana Island, yes, she has put, decided to put security cameras, and also she has been assigned bodyguards. My people, some people will say May is not feeling proud or she's not feeling this and this. It is for security reasons, so because that woman now is target, she is the prime target and suspect to Yol Edochi and Judy Austin's. 
um, success because as that woman keeps progressing, Yole Doche is not in support of it. Forget all the glitters that Yole Doche and Judy Austin keeps doing on social media space. But we all know deep down that he is hot. In fact, uh, he is so bad, feeling so bad for himself that his wife, Mia Doche, is doing so well more than him. He, because he was expecting that Mia Doche would run back to him, asking him for forgiveness after she had left him. But it was a shocker to him that the tables had not turned and she is now doing so well for herself. So guys, I would want you guys to tell me what you think. Come down to the comment section. Let me know your own reaction about this particular post. I'll be waiting for you right on the comment section. Thank you and God bless. Bye.